Welcome back to the Yagatra Art Chronicles, coming to you from Paris, France. I'm your host, Ed Hoskin, and today we'll continue the conversation regarding the United in History mural, chatting about the native community, the potlash presentation, and the emotional impact the mural had on Paul, Joanne, and all involved. It's quite incredible to be two and a half thousand people as a... As a Yes, Isn't that that's, that's, that's yeah. a tiny village, uh, you know. It's, it is, it's, right. it's, it's peanuts. It's amazing. And, they, uh, and as they say, growing, which which they mm. will. And you you know that's what I always loved. Uh, you know, with the native people, they it's the past and the future. You, you know, and they they think of where they came from and you know where they're going, and they want to protect things for the future generations they're not just for us today they're always impressive when they speak it, it's, there's some sort of power there you know they don't speak loud it's no. always monotone that's and... right there's no yelling <laughs> yeah and, and i don't know what they do when they're in their own homes but they definitely don't yell in public. it's sort of like the words <laughs> You know, we'd have to think soft about, spoken. Soft spoken. We had well, we mm. knew that with Leonard, 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 yeah. Leonard George, oh, yeah. who was Chief Leonard George. Chief Leonard George. He was very soft spoken. Oh, wonderful! Yeah, yeah. It just, yeah. and Paul always talking and so a, fast and loud. <laughs> <laughs> and I'd have to say, "Hey, Leonard, let speaking. Leonard speak. Let Leonard speak." He used to say all the time. Uh, <laughs> but uh, then they had the potlatch, and the, right. so that was another project that, and this is all during the time that we're there. Hmm. So we were there just under a month. And with the potlatch, uh, Craig Woodston wanted to give uh, the Hellsick Nation a gift, which was the four chiefs. So I had to paint the four chiefs again yeah, oh. individually yeah. on canvas so that they could be uh, presented to them at the potlatch. Wow. Which they did, and uh, they have a video of it. Where they, there is one video they, of that. They carry the paintings around the room and then they get put on easels and mm. behind the easels yeah. are the family members of that particular yeah. chief. So it's really interesting. It's the big native this center. Group, like each painting had maybe 20 people standing behind it and they were all relatives of this ancient chief. So they did this in a very special way with music and drum beating yeah, really in the background. So yeah, and, and then I had, to, I, had to make a speak. A little... I had to make a speech. Yeah. Mm. And <laughs> I'm just I can been... see it online. I can see it. you can see yeah. it on, on YouTube for anyone's interested. That's says so... your oh, yeah. smiley face having giving a little speech and it looks yeah, it looks great, <laughs> colorful and fantastic. I suggest yeah. anyone have yeah, a look it's... at that. And the four easels and I can just see the the portraits going up, yeah, it's, it's fantastic. It's worth a worth a look. That video. It's only yeah, a quarter yeah. of an hour long, and I'm sure there's some good speeches in there. Uh, I don't know whether you've done anything similar, but that must have been some sort of uh, highlight of your career. Which must have been. I, I'm trying to think with the other with the other yeah. um, the other murals. You haven't you hadn't yeah, done the yeah. similar sort of um, yeah no, this, presentation. This it must have been quite an emotional and and uh, you know for someone who's Who's you know, yeah. as we've said, is you know well, works with a, works with your indigenous roots and stuff like that to be sure, in an indigenous sure. sort of ceremony, painting Absolutely. portraits yeah, of other fair. indigenous people from the opposite side of the world. Must have been is is yeah. quite a. Well, it was more of a. It definitely was inter Well, it was personal as well. I mean, yeah. the fact that we yeah. we had to fly there in a plane three hundred miles north to this little island. I mean, it was like going into the no, middle of nowhere to do a big mural, yeah. and then meeting all the the, the, yeah, the members just, of the the band, really? the, the Helsic people, and the personal connections, uh, being invited to their homes. Yes, yeah, meeting fair. them. It became a very, very personal, emotional thing. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, and I mean, really they come, some, some people would actually come and cry at yeah, the mural, yeah, yeah. looking at the oh, yeah. chiefs. Yeah, it was really. So I mean, thing. yeah, it was. It affected me uh, quite a bit. That you know, so mm. it, was, it was something different, uh, special anyway. A very special mural in that sense that it became a, uh, in a it became a, a very, um, I guess, community based. Uh, feeling you know everybody working together to do this 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 painting and getting help from everybody with the photographs with their, their well, input all yeah. their input yeah about yeah it was I together to hear, i got to hear stories about these chiefs as well yeah yeah 
you know, there was a couple of older, very old people in the band who actually probably knew these chiefs when they were little, you know, hmm. and they tell me all about these and what they used to do and oh my gosh yeah, I felt like I felt like I knew them in the end you know after sitting painting them mm. for weeks That's on end you know true true it must have been it's just a, a proper connection between you and, yes, and you them know, and, don't, you know. it's only yeah, like, it doesn't happen very often that, it's you know. sort of you know yeah. never things, usually uh, never know that much about the some of the faces that I'm doing except just the basics you know you mm. just know a little bit about the history, but you don't know people who knew them, and you don't meet people who knew them and talked about them. And yeah, it it, it was uh, definitely a connection. And and they also, you know, as they said, uh, it was Paul's openness to their culture, uh, and you know, we want to learn and you know hear, you know, what they went through, the history, and well, yeah. you know, mm. rather than I, I mean, I've grown was... up uh, listening in the Basque country to all the problems and all the suffering yeah, and all with their ancestors. Oh my god, my uncles who were <laughs> some of them were in prison and some you know, during mm. the Civil War and the fact that my father couldn't come back to the country or he would have been shot as a deserter because he didn't want to come back to fight for Franco yeah. against his own people. Mm. So he was a he was a political refugee for for many years till he became a British subject and was able to you know, to come go back to the Basque country. So the similarities were amazing, actually, yeah. you know, listening to the stories that they told me about their children being taken away and put into the government schools. And, oh, God, yeah, you know, yeah. they were treated really roughly, you know. Yeah. And, and these these uh, portraits, were they done after you'd finished? Or, again, was that during? Uh, yes. Uh, no, yeah. he commissioned them before, I guess, you got... Really? Well, you must have. Oh, wow, the video is May 21st. I think that's, yes, that's right. right in the middle um, of doing it, or even before. I mean, that's right at yeah, the start, isn't right. it? Yeah, that's right. That's May 21st. Well, I guess yeah. I did do it before. Yeah. Mm, because, I as I said, it was going on for at least two and a half months. I was also, uh, you know, with, with Craig and Pauline, you know, emailing all the time back for, you know, how does Paul, uh, how are these going to work? Is that enough for him? What more? Do, I mean, they really catered to us as to Paul as the artist because they wanted to make sure he had absolutely everything. And yeah, yeah. yeah I mean, it, you know, the way Paul does things, it all looks easy, but it, you know, obviously takes a lot of work. You have to have uh, somebody like Paul that is a master. Well, they weren't know. sure I was going to be able to work the machine, first of all. <laughs> oh, yeah, something silly like <laughs> that. And then, He's so practical. And then, of course, I'm, I'm up there working away, <laughs> and then this guy comes up and he says, hey, he says, where's your safety belt? I said, what do you mean? He says, you don't have a harness. You've got to have a harness on. You can't oh, yeah, work there. It's, it's the law. It's the law. You've got to have a harness. <laughs> So he ended up getting me a harness, which That's I... That's you had a big chain, I had it? this bloody big oh. chain. I hated, I imagine. Yeah, I didn't put it on, actually. Don't tell anybody. Don't tell. <laughs> oh, cut that out, I had well, it, of course. I had, it, I had it sitting there, and I, I just in case someone <laughs> would come and say, where's your thing? And I'd say, oh, here it is. Look, I just took it off for a breather. To take it. Yeah, like, <laughs> I don't know. They treated Paul like... They knew he did other murals, but... Uh, they maybe not realize well, how sure. capable well, he is bit of uh, practically. But it's also the equipment working it. Yeah, you know, not you everybody had to can practice do that. how to move it around mm -hmm. properly. You know, you had a, somebody to show you first. Yeah, I had yeah. a guy show me how yeah. to work it first of all, mm. but then you know, it, it because wasn't, it was, wasn't that difficult. It was, I've worked one similar anyway. What in uh, Beach before? Yeah, Beach yeah. I had one similar. And uh, well, what was you know uh, wonderful like. Uh, at the end celebration, which we'll get to, but uh, as Pauline, you know, felt that the ancestral and spiritual energy, right, that that Paul felt this, and she called him a mural miracle maker. Paul is <laughs> miracle our miracle maker. mural miracle maker, which is pretty special. That was her what her her, her name for him or uh, her. That's right. Uh, yeah. That's right. Yeah. Like I love that the names natives come up with. 
Mm. They're yeah. very simplistic and oh, to yeah. the we, point. We always remember back in Arizona, the next one <laughs> oh, of them were called like one, one shot was in the shot eye. in the eye, and he was shot in the eye. <laughs> yeah. I yeah. mean, you know, yeah. literally, very literal with their names. That's right. You know? yeah. <laughs> and yeah. she was called, and her name is Paul, Pauline Hillistis Waterfall. What, what, Waterfall. Does Hillistis right. mean Hillistis, waterfall? Or, or what is, I'm not sure. No, I, I re- looked that up at it. It was, oh, my God, it's somewhere, but the idea is uh, Hillistas is her help Helper. sick name. Right. And yes. she is one that starts on her path and, and never that's right, yeah. ends. And like she continues. Ah, she, uh, she, uh, she, uh, she never yeah. ends. That's right. Relentless. Well, she works at it, <laughs> which she is a worker at yeah. every, all projects. You know, she sees no, she was from beginning to end. Very serious when we oh, talked yes, about yeah. uh, what I was going to do. I mean, she was... So well, she devoted. She a wanted great to make sure time. that what I was going to do was going to be compatible with the um, the Helsing nations uh, yeah. philosophies and everything, you know. And well, I uh, I believe it's her, her grandmother in there as well. Her grandmother's in it. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. The one older woman's face. Yeah. Ah, and that's right. I, I should have pointed all those out before, but uh, because it will be on our site. Yeah. There's uh, there's a Two, uh, three, two or three or four women there, and it's uh, the elder one. And the, and yeah, the, the elder, elder, the elder one on the right hand yeah. side. Yeah, okay. And so we, of course, through Pauline as well, got to hear all the stories, you know, of you know the great, great, great <laughs> grandparents. Yeah. Yeah, you know, they they <laughs> seem to know everything about. You know, like in North America, some people, like in the states, they don't even know much about their grandparents. You know, mm. they leave the old country and then don't keep in touch. And wow. Yeah, yeah. So you finished it. Um, you what happened next? Well, we go back then to Vancouver for a couple of weeks because it's is it July sixth the big uh, get together, the big unveiling. I think they it had was a big July unveiling, 6th. so they had to fly. Yeah, us, July sixth. Fly us out again to the. Um, to the island well then we, you know we took yeah. the, they paid for everything but we took the commercial plane going and coming back for a couple of weeks then hmm. uh, Greg has his own plane and so I think it takes about 30 odd people yeah. with his family and, uh, and because they were doing the uh, uh, special f- uh, for the natives that were in the uh, forces for That's the right. Second World War, That's right, and yeah. they they had invited all those officials, That's right. uh, yeah, the, the Air Force people, and you know the native uh, young uh, carver did a yeah. special carving for that, and that yeah. was the very first ceremony. It was about five hundred people, I think. That's right. Yeah. And of course, then the, the natives, of course, did all their ceremonies. They had all their outfits and. Uh, the children were doing all the dance and the music, and yeah, it was pretty special. Yeah, that was hmm. really yeah, it was quite wonderful. And then they they had their salmon barbecue, and, Ooh. and um, then the unveiling of the mural set was second. That's right. right that's they right. first did the smaller area with, uh, you know, noting uh, the memorial was for the natives from that area. Yeah. that were in the Second World War, the Korean War as well, I oh, believe. Okay. Yeah. So, and this was very important uh, for Craig, you know, to dedicate uh, to his father. To his father. What happened with the uh, the bearded eagle feather? What's that all about? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah it, it was pretty wonderful. Yeah, yeah, it presented me with this beaded eagle feather, which is so quite an honour. Uh, that if you're handed it by a, a native chief, you know, it sort of uh, yeah. symbolizes the respect that they have for you and and what you've done well, for so them. Or... What they said, like, uh, it was the Heltzik Nation. Well, first of all, they had all the chairs, you know, set around about the podium and the mic and all that, right? Mm. And so we... Actually, again, we were the only ones with all these chiefs. Yeah, it was really right, yeah. quite something, but for us. And then uh, when they presented Paul with the beaded feather, yeah. of course, uh, and what they said with the feather is, uh, 
This represents strength, unity, and power that comes from the wings of the great eagle, and it comes.